Hey guys, thanks for checking out my YouTube video. Many Etsy shop owners have contacted me because their sales have been decreasing over the last couple of months. That is because Etsy um, added some changes to their search algorithm and just the overall structure of how their website operates. And many of them were able to increase their sales again by driving additional sales through their blog. So to do that, you first need a blog. And that is why I created this video tutorial. In the next couple of minutes, I will show you how to create a blog and add your Etsy products to your blog. Let's start by buying a domain name. Just go to my website and add a slash just host to the address or click the link below the video. So let's add just host. Next, we want to sign up for an account. We do this by clicking on the sign up now button. And for our purposes, the starter or the smallest package is good enough. Next, we want to select our domain name. For this purpose, I'm just going to register Tim's Chop Block. I already checked that this domain name is available. Next, you need to enter your account information. I will make my account information invisible just for privacy reasons. Next, we want to choose our account plan. Uh, I would recommend you either choose the 12 or 24 months uh, package because usually you don't want to have to deal with this on a month to month basis. So I usually go with the 12 months package. And it's also a better deal. We don't need the domain privacy, we don't need their backup service or the security. The last step is to add our billing information. You can either pay via credit card or you add your PayPal information. For me, PayPal usually works best. Okay. Let me log into my PayPal account. And I want to purchase the package. After the sign up process, you can select different add ons or upgrades, but we don't need any, so we can just click complete. Okay, great, we have successfully created an account. So next we want to create our password. Okay, let me do that quick. Great, now we're ready to log in. Let's use the password that we just created. This is just some advertising that we can skip. You might have some different banner or other advertising there. We don't need this. And we want to go down to Insta WordPress because that's the blogging system we want to use. Okay, now we have to hit install one more time. And now we choose our domain name. In this case, I only have one domain. Usually we can leave all the settings like this. We just have to check. I have read the terms and conditions. And we click install now. Okay, now we see some advertising. We don't need that. And we're waiting until our installation is completed. Okay, great. So now we want to view our login data. Which we can do here.
Okay, great. So next we want to go to the back end of our blog. That's basically where we would publish articles, uh, change the design, or add some plugins. So let me copy the password. So this is the backend of our block. And as the first step, we want to pick our design. We do this by going to Appearance, Themes. We want to add a new. And I really like the design, Patchwork. So I want to install this. And next we need to activate it. Next we want to make sure that we can show our Etsy products on our blog. So we need to install a plugin. I'm going to show you next how that works. We want to add a new plugin. And in the search type Etsy. And we want to install the Etsy shop plugin, which is the first one. And activate. For this plugin to work, we need an Etsy API key. I will show you how to get one. You basically just follow this link. And now you want to register as a developer. So in this case, I already started. In this case, I would say it's a seller tool. It's for the general public. It's not commercial. And it doesn't need any of those permissions. After reading those terms, I already read them. We can click create application or create app. And now we want to copy our key string this year. Now we want to go back to our shop. And under settings, there should be our Etsy shop plugin. And here's where we want to add our key. And we need to save. Next, we want to create a post. This is our first post, so let it just call Welcome to my new blog. And here we can write a little bit more. Hey, welcome to my blog. Check out my new product. And here we want to insert our Etsy products. So we do this. This might look a little bit strange first, but just follow me and copy the code and I will explain what all of this means. So this is your shop name and you will obviously exchange this and the section ID. Next, I want to show you how you can find the section ID. So let's go to Etsy.com. Okay, let's just pretend this first would be my shop. So in this case, I want to show the floors and rocks on my website. So up here, 
in the address bar we can see the section ID. So we want to copy the section ID and paste the section ID right in here. And we do the same thing with the shop name. So let's go back to Etsy. And here's our shop name. You can also copy it from there. Okay, let me paste the shop name in here. And now we can publish our first post. So, before we take a look at our shop, let's first change the title. We go to Settings, General, and I want to call my, my blog Tim's Shop Blog. We can save those changes. And now let's take a look at our new blog visit site. Great! I think this looks already pretty good. Down here we can see the products and that's the end of the first tutorial. Next time I will show you how you can add more things to your blog to make it even more attractive and also how you can market your blog to help even more customers find your store online. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.